okay today we shall be developing today we shall be developing touch model and sometime we call it sometime we call it uh, G J R Garch model, right? And uh, and our topic actually, our topic is leverage in the leverage in the in the torch torch model. That is our our actually topic. And uh, torch model actually is a is a family member family member of arch model. Okay. So uh, so so when we can you can estimate arch or torch model when there is a guideline right there is a guideline okay first I talk about guideline number one okay what is the guideline number one first we estimate a model where BSR is the dependent variable and C is the constant. First, we run this model. We run this model. Okay, how to, uh, so I go to quick to run the model. I choose the estimate equation. And here I put BSR, that is a dependent variable, and C. And here I assume that there is no independent variables. But if I want, I can put more independent variables. But suppose I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. And my model is like this. That is BSR is the dependent variable and C is the constant and what is BSR? BSR is the Bangladesh stock return. BSR means Bangladesh stock return and the data is here. You can see the data. Okay, I am showing the data, the BSR. The data is here. I am opening the data. You can see opening the data. It is the data right BSR I can see and my sample size is how much 200 that means 200 days data I have taken here 200 days data you can see from here so so until this one 200 days so all these things are Bangladesh stock return. 200 days Bangladesh stock return. All right, 200 days. So that is my sample. That is Bangladesh stock return for 200 days okay. okay then I run the model I go to quick estimate equation BSR and C and I run this uh, model using least square method right least square method sample size is 200 I click OK so that is the dependent variable BSR and this is my model right this is my model okay and from this model 
what is the residual I click residuals you can see receipt okay and these are the residual distribution from day one until day 200 from here to here day one to day 200 that is the residual distribution okay now the thing is that when I can run the torch model that means under what condition and and I can explain it here that when I can run torch model okay what is happening here you can see from here from this diagram okay day one it is the day one until day 40 right around 40 so the volatility of the residual all are small meaning that uh, the low vol volatility meaning that low volatility that I am writing low vola vo low volatility of residual is followed by another low volatility for a prolonged period right so meaning that from day 1 until day 40 low volatility of residual is followed by another low volatility for a prolonged period and again suppose from here from 40 day from 40 until this right that means 40 to 75 days that what is happening here high volatility has been followed by another high volatility of the residual for a prolonged period and again you can see from here from here from here until here right from here to until here you can see again low volatility has been followed by another low volatility for a prolonged period that means from here to here right and again from here to here you can see high volatility has been followed by another high volatility for a prolonged period and when this thing happen we have the justification to estimate arch or torch model so we shall estimate arch and torch model when low volatility is followed by low volatility for a prolonged period or when high volatility is followed by another high volatility for a prolonged period then we have the justification to use torch model and that we shall do now and uh, and and uh, we can justify of running of running torch model by appointing another test and that is called arch test right that is called arch test and that uh, that we can use now that is gui guideline number two justification number two guideline number two or justification number two Okay, then I go to view 
then I go to residual diagnostic then I choose the heteroscedastic test I click here and then I take the arch test I choose the arch test right and I press OK so this is our estimations it is the arch test and observed R square and corresponding P value you can see P value so what is the P value P value is a uh, 0.0019 meaning that 0.19 percent right and what is our null hypothesis null is sorry null is there is no arch effect and what is alternative there is arch effect right and here our p value is very small less than 5% so we can reject the null hypothesis meaning that our model has arch effect so we have the justification again to run the torch model and and what is called torch model torch model is a family of arch model okay so that we shall do now we shall estimate torch model okay and how to estimate torch how to estimate torch model okay go to quick as before no, I, I here I can do from here estimate right okay then here is what B S R and C right and here is the I choose from here arch right autoregressive conditional heteroscedasticity I choose it and here I choose this one torch and order here I put one order I put here one right and here I choose normal distribution right normal distributions so this is our torch estimation and this one is the mean equ equation and this one is the variance equ equation so it has two part one is mean equation and variance uh, model so we can estimate it now